Welcome to the Faith Snacks Podcast, bite-sized snacks to grow your faith. I am your host, Chris Adams. Thank you for joining me, and let's get in today's program. We are back with the last installment of How to Read the Bible the Right Way, Principles for Bible Interpretation. And today we're going to look at Rule 11 and 12, Principle 11 and 12. And I just want to say thank you for sticking with me because like I said when we first started, this can get kind of boring, but it is very needful because this is where lots of people get off and they misconstrue what the scriptures say, they get deceived, and this will help you stay the course and stay and believe exactly what God wants us to believe. So without further ado, let's look at principle number 11, which is the principle of emphasis. And this principle is to place proper emphasis on the scripture and avoid error through overemphasis. Ephesians 4.14 says that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. You know, the church is lacking in an area or needs something. The Holy Spirit will emphasize it. We usually call this revival, revival in certain areas. But don't get confused and deceived by overemphasizing areas that shouldn't be emphasized. The truths of Christ are true, but you need to understand how to walk in the truth. One key to Bible interpretation is major on the majors and not major on the minors. Many people get caught up in the small things and miss the bigger picture. For example, Christians will argue how often they are supposed to take communion and miss the truth of walking in love, or walking in what communion means. <clears throat> Emphasize the truths of the Bible that need to be emphasized, and not the truths that are minor truths. Yes, study out 1 Corinthians 13 and draw all the details out of it, but don't do the same thing for Matthew 1.10 which says Hezekiah begot Manasseh, and Manasseh begot Ammon, and Ammon begot Josiah. You can study it out, but don't major on it. It's not something that's supposed to be majored on. There was an internationally known minister, and let me tell you this, in a meeting um, a few years ago, who the Lord told to make one correction. One correction, that's it. And his ministry would skyrocket. Of course, you know, he never figured out what that one thing was, but the Lord showed another minister. This is how I heard it. He showed this other minister what that one thing was. It was that he tried to pull things out from Scripture that just weren't there. He overemphasized things that shouldn't have been emphasized or overemphasized. Keep with this and you will stay out of the ditch. Okay, the last principle, principle number 12, is the principle of application. And this is to understand the scriptures as our final authority and apply them to our lives. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Joshua 1, 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. We must understand that our Bible study, our Bible reading time is not finished until we settle the fact that the Bible, the Word of God, is the final authority in our life and understand how to apply it and walk it out in our life. Our understanding of the Word is not complete until there is evidence of it. That evidence is is you walking it out in your life. Your faith must be in the Word of God, not someone else's experience. The Word works for them because it has come alive in their life, and faith was created, not because they are someone special. Your experience has to be based on the Word of God. Don't try to base your faith on your beliefs or your beliefs on someone else's experiences unless it agrees with the Bible. And that's it. That's the 12 principles for Bible interpretation. And in conclusion, 
I just want to say, if we're going to grow in Christ, to grow up spiritually, to do what God has created us to do and not get deceived in a time where deception is around every corner, we must know the Word of God. We must know how to read and study the Word of God. We must know how to interpret it. One reason there are so many denominations is because people interpret the Bible the way they want to instead of the way God intended it. God has a plan for every person, but if we get off from his word, we will not experience the blessings of accomplishing it. And the blessings come not just upon us, but others as well. Don't steal their blessings from them, and don't let the devil steal God's blessings from you. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to stay in touch or get connected, you can find me online at www.christadams.com. And there you can find all the different social media networks I am on. Thank you for joining me again, and I will see you back here next time.